Helping my mom teach the children about Jesus. The one thing I loved was helping my mom teach all the kids the memory verses and the songs. And I also liked talking to all the other girls on the team. One thing that I enjoyed about this mission trip was the team. It was very fun having them around. And I also loved playing soccer with the people at every other church that we went to. I thought it was really cool to help with the youth ministry team and to see how excited the youth were to learn about Jesus. A highlight for me on this year's mission trip was going a lot deeper into the bush and experiencing a different culture. And after teaching the kids about Jesus, they would often give us a traditional meal, which was really, really good. And yeah, just experiencing a different culture and meeting different people on this mission trip was really amazing. One of the things that stood out for me on this year's mission trip was how we went to so many churches where there were people who had never heard the gospel before. And so we had an opportunity to teach them about Jesus for the very first time. In the children's ministry, we taught the children from Mark's gospel. We wanted to show them how Jesus shows that our biggest problem is our sin and that Jesus has come as the one who can fix that biggest problem for us. Now one of the things that's really hard when you go on ministry into Namibia is that because of language you can't always grasp how much the children are understanding. We are working through translators the whole time. But at the end of one of the days when we were teaching the children, I asked the children to pray. And one little girl stood up and prayed in her language. Afterwards, the translator said to me that she had prayed everything in light of what we had heard. She had said, sorry for our sin. Thank you for Jesus. Please forgive me. One of the things that we also teach the children on this mission trip was memory verses using songs and using actions. And my prayer is that these truths that we taught the children and that the songs that we repeated with them, embedded in their memories, God will use those and embed it in their hearts so that they can look back one day and say, in June 2024, I heard about Jesus and that changed my life. It really was a great team to go to Namibia with this year. Uh, we had so much fun together, lots of laughing together. Uh, one of the highlights just with the team was on one of the days we were out uh, under the trees doing our washing and somebody asked a question and we ended up sitting with a few of the team members for about two hours just talking about what it looks like for us to live as Christians in a world that is increasingly unchristian. Uh, but on the trip itself, it was a real joy that our family were blessed with a 4x4 that we could take up uh, for the trip. And that 4x4 enabled me to pull Ross out of the very thick sand, which was uh, fun. But more than that, that 4x4 enabled us to get deep into Namibia on one day almost to the Angolan border. It felt like we were driving into the middle of nowhere. And then we were greeted by Christian brothers and sisters singing, rejoicing that we were coming to tell them about Jesus. And it really was a joy to go to a very rural churches and to see that the gospel is taking root. One of the real highlights for me was being at the Angolan border to know that the gospel is advancing from Namibia up north into Angola too. And it's a real prayer that the seeds that were sown on this trip would take root, that God would give the growth, and that in the next generation we'll see these children and youth and young people who are loving Jesus, that we would see them taking this gospel out into Namibia, and we would see Namibia one for Jesus.